Misery Loves Company as the 0-4 Bears took on the 0-4 Westfield State Owls. Tyler Crispin has more. The Bears got off to a rough start this week against the Westfield Owls as Stefano D'Amelia throws an interception on the first play of the game. However, the Bears defense is able to hold the Owls to only a field goal and the Bears respond with a touchdown by McLaughlin. The Owls have a response of their own as they march down the field and score. The Owls, though, were the were the ones to make the next mistake as Pastilio fumbles and the Bears were able to recover the loose ball. The Bears changed their offense to an almost strictly wildcat playbook led by McLaughlin who scores his second TD of the game. McLaughlin went off this game running all over the Owls defense for a total of 176 yards and three touchdowns. Then in the fourth quarter, D'Amelia throws a deep pass to Levanchi which connects who runs it in for a 65 yard touchdown pass. Marrero, who made the change from starting quarterback to cornerback this week, seals the deal for the Bears with a late fourth quarter interception. The Bears go on to beat the Owls with a final score of 28-9. So the Bears get win number one thanks to a 28-9 victory. Alex McLaughlin had 23 carries for 176 yards and a sloppy game football-wise and weather-wise in downpours. BSU tackled Western Connecticut in the nightcap. Tyler Chrisman has the highlights. The Bridgewater State Bears got off to a quick start at homecoming against the Western Connecticut Colonials. The Colonials, however, were quick to respond with a touchdown of their own. Then, in the second half, the Western Connecticut Colonials put their foot on the pedal as they score two more touchdowns. The Bears respond, though, with an amazing tip pass caught for a touchdown by Andian Silva. The Colonials, though, would respond with a touchdown of their own as Quinn Fleety finished the day with three touchdown passes and also a touchdown run. Levanchilo put the team on his back as he broke the school record for both receptions and yards with a stat line of 14 receptions and 254 yards. He would also pick up another touchdown pass along the way to bring the Bears within a score. However, the Bears weren't able to get any closer so the Colonials go on to win with a final score of 27-20. The Bears stumbled into Week 3 against the Framingham State Rams. Two huge negative plays. Again, handoff up the middle. It's the big fella. I mean, Guerrero drops it. back, avoids one, takes it himself, and loses the ball. It was a turnover fest for the Bears who committed a total of five turnovers in the game. Here you can say not on the same page at all. Yeah, Marrero. No, Marrero just dropped it again. Currents for the Bears, an empty set. Marrero looking, sends it deep, has him, and picked off by the Rams. As the Rams gonna try to forward this, they're still going, and it looks like a flag is for the Bears. Marrero able to get it off, going, picked off by the Rams. That's Bartolo That's, making uh, Bartolo. up for his. Uh, the Bears' defense, though, was able to hold the Rams to a total of 19 points, which kept them in the game. And dropped. That might have been picked. Say, I'm not sure that hit the ground. Picked. And then I see it's a touchback, so the Bears get the ball. After a timely red, red zone interception with 8.39 left in the game by Juan Gonzalez, the Bears made a quarterback change to... Stefan D'Amelio. D'Amelio was able to lead the Bears to two quick touchdown passes to bring the Bears into a one possession game. And the Bears touchdown! There's a safety though. And he, he has a the middle. The middle. Sends it, connects, and the Bears touchdown! Malik, Malik Garrett. Garrett. This is what I said. After the Bears made defense a stop, D'Amelio marched the Bears down the field. However, with 1.18 left in the game, D'Amelia throws a costly interception. The Bears go on to lose to a final score of 19-13 Framingham State. Bridgewater State has only scored 50 points in their first three games. This was the first time since 2010. Back then, BSU won two of those three games. The Bears will look for win number one against Fishburg State, followed by a home matchup against Westfield State for the Sexo Trophy.